so first on the agenda is Pogba and Jose's little squabble. Um, so, who do you think is to blame? On what side do you think they're both to blame? One person more than the other? Yeah, yeah I'd, say, I'd say they're both to blame, really. Like, for, look, listen, we're going by what we see in the media, this, that, now. We don't know the complete ins and outs, but the vibe we get, obviously, he both have an ego, and that's the problem. Like, when you get these two egos, it's just going to be a clash. And obviously, Pogba's come off the back, he's won the World Cup, he's feeling like he's the man. He's, he feels that they should be playing in a certain way, and he's been vocal about it, which we know. And Mourinho's like obviously feeling like well, you're saying we should attack. That means you're criticizing me. So he shouldn't have come out and said that. But at the same time, Mourinho's like just like you were saying, man management skills just ain't off the scratch. Like yeah, like, I think it's your third season now with Mourinho, yeah. And to justify a good appointment, he had to win the league in his first three seasons. Yeah. And similarly to Pogba, biggest signing, biggest transfer in the world that time. You don't expect United to win the league in the next three years. You haven't. You don't look like you are. And haven't even challenged. And them two are now there thinking, let me shift the blame this way. Let me shift the blame that way to see who's going to win. And that's, that's the focus at United now, the, the shift of blame rather than trying to win the game. Um, all right, so for your clubs, if you have a player that goes onto Instagram, posts a video, and it's probably whilst his team are winning or their level, so because we all expect our players not to be cheering whilst our teams are losing, right? Yeah. If the video goes up and then you as the manager, you feel there's a problem with that, do you A, confront the player and just go onto him or do you find out your facts before you go to him? Because Mourinho seemed to have just jumped on his neck and then went to the... Like training. Yeah, and then Dr. Dickens looked at that guy and said, look, when was it posted? And he probably told him what time it was posted. And Paul made it clear that, you know, when you're in the stadium, you don't get signal or that rubbish. Yeah. So it came on after. How would you do with that if that was... So at Arsenal, I guess the problem person right now could not sign their contract is Ramsey. Yeah. If that was Ramsey, how, what would, how would you feel about that? It's hard to say. I would even say Ramsey because Ramsey's dead. So it's, it's, <laughs> uh, if Ramsey was Pogba, then yeah. it would be more like Ozil. Ozil. Even Ozil's not Pogba right now. Ozil hasn't performed for years. Like, let's just say we had Pogba and it was between yeah. the manager and, and him. That like, Obviously, Mourinho's flexing his muscles with what he did at the training mm-hmm. session. The night before in his interview, he even said, there's no problem with Pogba. I've just stripped him of the captaincy. He's mugging him in a sense. And then the next day, he knew the sky cameras were there. He just thought, let me call him over and do that. Let me interrupt his handshakes. So Mourinho's doing it for, for the media. It's, it's dumb, though. It's dumb. Like, how can you sit there and say, this player will never captain Man United again? How, can you, how do you expect to get anything out of this guy if you know, right, boom, the trust is gone. I'm not going to trust him with any responsibilities. Let me know. This is your £89 million player that you've signed. Like... He just, he's not dealing with things in the right way. Like you said, he should have come and said, cool, right, let me check this, let me get into my facts. But that just tells you that there's already, he already has this problem with Pogba. And all of a sudden, there's previous there to where he's going, oh, again, here we go, Pogba, I'm going to jump on his case. Like, it's, he's just handing the whole thing wrong completely. Yeah. He got offended by the attack thing that Pogba said the week before, really. Which, Which is didn't under- think it was that bad. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I mean, but it's kind of like, he was right in what he was saying, Pogba, but to come out and say it and kind of like, we need, we should be playing like this, it's like, well, no, the manager tells you how you should be playing. Like, if you don't like it, then don't come out and say it, like, in public, because you're just putting more pressure on his head. You're fueling up the fans that are okay. feeling the same way. Like, when it's coming from the player, like, the fans are going to be like, yeah, no, we're right. He should be coming and maybe he's coming in the dressing room and saying, I feel like... He should be playing like this and that. But you know what, yeah, as an Arsenal fan, we went through grabs with our manager for years, yeah? Mm. If a player stood up, if we had a captain that stood up in an interview and said, we should be doing this, and we, I would have loved it. Yeah. Because mm. I would have agreed with him at the point, because Wenger's got our club stale, stagnant, similar to what Mourinho's done, isn't it? And I feel like, I feel like, every, let's say this was Roy Keane that came out and said that last week. Oh, boy. No one would have an issue with it because Not that's the captain that Roy Keane is, isn't it? He yeah. puts the club first, then, even before yeah. the manager. But didn't, didn't like, Roy Keane step out of line and then Ferguson just dealt with it, got rid of him, right? Yeah, Which but, is what he used to do with players. Like, you step out of line, boom, you're gone. Like, I, I don't... I, but then it's a case of that they was able to then... Their academy was on point. He was able... He was replaceable. Yeah. Anyone was replaceable. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, obviously, at United now, I think there's a situation where... Because Woodward got the deal going for Pogba before Mourinho came in. Yeah. And then when he got Mourinho, he was like, right, we've got this going. Do you want to get some of them? Well, he's not going to say no to bringing in Pogba as a quality footballer. Yeah, come on. Um, 
But obviously, that's the manager he brought in because City got Pep. It was a reaction. He was like, no, yeah, we need yeah. someone just to speak. So that's where. I, what do you think they should do? Should he, if it comes to the end of the season and we're still having this problem, should it be keep Pogba, get rid of Jose, or keep Jose yeah, rid of Pogba? Yeah, get to the end of the season. This issue and oh. getting to the end of the season. Do so you think someone's getting? Yeah, not someone. Mourinho. He's getting fired. Well, I'm, I'm hearing he's going to cost them like thirty million to sell. Uh, yeah, they, they can do that. Can't they? Man and, and, and generally, they they do give managers to the end of the season these lot. And so, I mean, you might be right. It might become so untenable that they just have to. Like, it depends how it goes. I'm pretty sure it will. You know, I'm pretty sure the way it's going. Like you said, how can you talk about a player like that and then expect them to perform with Martial? Mm. Put. Put yourself in Martial's shoes in your normal job, working life. Yeah, imagine you Imagine you've got someone there doing a job. You go to do that job one day, it doesn't go as planned, and then your manager in front of you says, "See," and you ask me why David does the job all the time. Yeah, I'd be yeah. like, "Are you crazy, bro?" Yeah, like, yeah. And so yeah. Martial's another player that switched off last yeah. eight months of contract. If Man United want to keep Martial, they better s- drop, like, drop yeah. Mourinho ASAP and try and galvanise him with maybe Zidane. Same thing happened with Shaw. See, Shaw's playing well now, but. When he came back, he played well and he said, I was his brains. <laughs> I was talking for us and he wasn't doing. Yeah. It's, that's why it doesn't help. But um, this is the problem, managers like that. This is why I, we didn't like Big Sam, right? Now, obviously, I'm comparing Big Sam <laughs> and Mourinho, which maybe some might say it's, a, it's an apt comparison at the moment. But it's like he would always take the credit when we win and deflect the blame to the players yeah. when we lose. Yeah, and it it's just it's a terrible way of, of of motivating players and managing players, and you're never going to get the love from the from the fans that way. But I think a lot I've heard a lot of Man United fans say they should chuck both. But and I understand that because of the way Pogba's been. But if I'm a Man United fan, I want to see if a new manager can come in and get something out of him and get him performing like he did for France. Yeah, you know. Like so, maybe stick get rid of Mourinho as I, much as I like. I don't him. think he was the right managerial appointment for you like, at the time, anyway. Mm. But now, yeah, now I think Zidane is the perfect man for Why you now because he picked up Real. He didn't buy no one in three years. Okay. He he got the best out of world class players. Yeah. Right now, you got world class players. You need the best out of them. Put in Zidane. Pogba will be galvanized. Martial will be galvanized. Players will start coming again. I mean, the guy is a, a legendary footballer. Like, boss, like, in football, if respect. you don't respect Zidane, yeah, then you it's might as well leave Man United because you're not the type of footballer for the biggest team. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and he he seems like he don't take any any rubbish. Basically, he started dropping Ronaldo and yeah. making bringing him up off the bench. Yeah. And they then. all like handled that like the way he was with that. So. He, he seems to have maybe have that personality of keep players in line but he might I think he'll play more of that football that the players want to play and the fans want to see and it's, it's a trick I mean he won the Champions League three times back to back with no signings yeah like so it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous yeah so maybe he could be but the Premier League is a different animal it depends it's good He's obviously the manager that the best one to option to go with whether it's definitely going to work out or not and he took over after Mourinho's right after Oh yeah, I mean, the thing with they would be yeah, yeah. Yeah. There sign him when you win the Champions over. League three times. That run. would be amazing. Phil Jones in okay. defence. <laughs> nah, you ain't got the team rare had obviously. It's, it's, <laughs> actually, it's actually kind of bad that Phil Jones and Chris Morning are part. Of, I think top five right now, longer seven players at United. Are maybe top three. Yeah. Even yeah, because our well, the Haya, like who from Man United's reign. Besides Lotus Reign, when he left, was still there. Uh, yeah, Valencia, Valencia. Oh yeah, Valencia too. Yeah. Those four. Uh, Valencia. Them, them kind of guys. Oh, actually, I'm going to say that. Crap, man. No, yeah. I ain't going to lie. Valencia was crap at one point. Yeah. He's, he's, he's getting there. He's, he's getting like there. You know 37. He's 34 now. Man. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's getting, getting somewhere. You know what I mean? We're talking. He's getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's getting somewhere. I mean, I, bro, I, there's never a time I can actually boast. Valencia, uh, my man doing a, uh, give me a good game, bro. Like, I used to just get the... He should not be starting at Man United. Sometimes it's about playing in the right position for the right stage of your career. That is true. You have a point. True. True. Very true. One more. uh, One more thing has Mourinho failed. It's three years. Yes. So oh, yes. 100. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like I was on this show last season, and I was obviously I was actually defending Mourinho at the time because there was progress. But mm. yeah, you look at it now, he's fine. And then everyone else was saying, "Let's see what you can do." You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. usual. What does he always do? Arrogant. Yeah. Never ever takes blame for nothing. Always the players. Yeah. Chelsea fans are over here like. Jose Mourinho. You know, they, you know talk, they did tell us. They yeah. Did yeah. Us. Lost three one. You know what three stands for? <laughs> three titles. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, a lot of people going on that main night concerning Jose Mourinho and Paul Pogba. Let us know what you think, who's right, who's wrong. Like, subscribe, comment, what he says.